Well, hello. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you see this. This is Steve with INFPA Assertive Insights. And I thought I'll just touch on something that came to mind. First, I want to say that um, I will not be doing any more videos until after the new year. I'm taking December off. Not that I'm taking off, I'm taking off from here, but I'm not taking off, period, um, in life. Because as everybody else is very busy, which is a good thing for me because I haven't been in three years. So that having been said, this will be my December one. I'm going to talk about um, people do think about you after you leave, whether it's a friendship, family ship, rom romantic relationship. I know everywhere you read, every video you see, I've said it myself my whole career, and I've been uh, working in mental health either personally or professionally for decades. And um, even INFP creators say this, that um, they're not thinking about you five years later. I beg to differ. And I found somebody who agreed with me. Not that if we find people who agree with us, but it's kind of like, uh, yeah. Um, the reason being, it is once we leave or they leave or however we break up from whatever relationship there is they say we'll just move on because uh they're not thinking about you they're living their best life you live your best life totally agree with that but they are missing you they do think about you once in a while they may contact you um doesn't mean you have to respond now why is that this is about the time everybody clicks off. Listen to me here about this. So why is that? The reason being is that the uniqueness of the INFP. Um, I saw something the other day by host Eric for talking with famous people. He was talking about INFPs, and I wish I had his clip, but quite frankly, I don't feel like going through it and showing it to you, but you can look it up. I'll do it later, maybe. But he was talking about outliers. In general, specifically, I don't know, but it was, it's, the topic was about INFPs. And he was saying just basically um, that, yeah, that sticks out in other, other personality types' brain. Um, because that's something that other, the other 15 don't have. That we're the outliers. There are other outliers, but we are the most, um, I think it's because we are the... Um, deepest with the most um, creative it's the it's the f-i-n-e I, that's all i can tell you <laughs> we feel deep and you put the f-i with the n-e and we see all these possibilities and we talk and we're very interesting people and i've had people tell me you know gosh i never thought about that or sarcastically well only you would think up things something like that Either way, we stick out in people's minds. And I know when I've been in romantic relationships, I may get into that next year. <laughs> I may make it a little bit more adult. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, but yes, I am old, but I'm not dead. Um, I've had several relationships. I've had some as, as recently as a couple of years ago or so. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we are, uh, most everybody will get back in touch with me. I mean, not so much now I'm older, but people will get back in touch with me. And I've noticed that over the decades. I mean, I've noticed that when I got divorced, my kid's dad walked out in the middle of the day, um, just walked out and, um, out of the blue. And six months later, he changed his mind and wanted to come back, but there was too many caveats, like bring the girlfriend with him. And <laughs> Things that, oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that. But, you know, I mean, even he, yeah, he had nothing to want to do with me. He wanted to come back, and that happened. So they get in touch or been thinking about you, or you get a like, oh, and the one, but yeah, you now with social media, like Facebook and places like that, you'll get a, Instagram, whatnot, you get a like. They'll let you know they're there. They might not talk to you, but they'll let you know they're there. So they do think about you. And they do think about you five years from now, 10 years from now, 15, 20 years from now. I had a friend one time, 
And she kept coming back, and she was, I hate to say it, but I do think she turned psychotic. I do think she turned into an alcoholic, um, alcohol-induced psychosis. So she was like two in the morning ranting and raving, and I, I couldn't deal with her anymore, and I just felt bad because she had been a good friend. But I, we were having a talk one time, and I said, uh, yeah, well, they, I don't have problems. They all come back. And I say, no, but they all come back or try to. And she says, well, you're single. <laughs> She had a point, and I said, yeah, but I just told them no, but um, they all try to come back. And see if you have have that, um, you have that experience. Um, if you don't, I can tell you somebody's thinking about you. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to go, and you'll think about other people because we do like to ruminate. But it doesn't mean that you have to, I'm just learning this lesson. It doesn't mean that you have to engage. It doesn't mean you have to respond. It doesn't mean you have to do anything. Um, you don't. I mean, I even have several INFJs, former friends in my life, um, who door slammed me. I always end up getting door slammed by the INFJs. I have no idea why I do know why. I push their buttons. <laughs> I go deep and I don't mind and I'm just unfiltered at this point in my life. <laughs> they don't, they don't like that. That's too much for them. But, um, I get door slammed. But you know what? I've never had the door to totally slam and stay shut with nails and bolts. If I approach them, and I have because I do enjoy INFJs, um, I have done that. And they are cautious, but they do engage for a little while. I mean, one, I'm still a Facebook friends with, and we don't do anything but like each other's posts maybe once or twice a year. Um, but at least uh, we're there. And there's another that did engage for a while, um, a couple that did engage for a while, but now I just I just said, yeah, it's not going to work. It's um, There's a reason why we weren't talking to begin with. So, yeah, I'm not saying to engage. I'm not saying, oh, they must be thinking of me because, yeah, Dee said that that's what happens. Uh, no, just go about your life. Live your best life. That part is true. Do not wait for anybody. Do not wait for anybody. But I will tell you, I do disagree with they're not thinking about you five years from now. The other 15 types, that may be true, but not with the 16th type, the INFPs, because we are an outlier. We are that unique, and it's something that is catchy to people's brains. In their memory, there's something that they like. And I, I say that whenever somebody walks away from me or gets in an argument and leaves me. I'm like, well, you're never going to meet anybody like me again and that's that's my little ego talking i understand that but it makes me feel better and it is true nobody is going to ever meet anybody like an infp we are that unique we are that special that's all i wanted to say that yes they do think about you you don't have to engage but we are thought about let me know what you think let me know have you if you have gone back if you have reconnected with people what happened? Did it work out? Did it not work out? Um, you agree, disagree? Totally off the wall? A lot of love you comments. Share, subscribe, whatever. Like. Just like and comment. I'm not getting into the sharing and subscriptions because YouTube's taking them away. That's a whole nother issue. <laughs> Google is deactivating all accounts that haven't been used in two years. That's a lot of people's subscriptions at some point i think but anyway yeah have everybody have a great holiday season whatever holiday you celebrate even if it's no holidays have a great season for december i'll see you back in 2024 stay safe